Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Throughout the years, we've warned you about countless Craigslist scams, but this new scam really got our attention. A Pawtucket woman realized she'd been conned when strangers began showing up at her house. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. Imagine how you would feel if suddenly people, total strangers, knocked on your door looking for a tour of your house. Why? Because of an ad on Craigslist that listed your house for rent when it wasn't. For weeks now, perfect strangers have been arriving on Wendy O'Claire's doorstep. Hello. And it's driving her crazy. That makes me, like, a little weirded out. Strangers showing up all because of an ad similar to this one on Craigslist. Someone knocked on the door and said, are you Wendy? I think you're being scammed on Craigslist. The ad shows pictures yeah, of an attractive so condo for rent. Scammed. Problem is, it's not her condo. Seems the scam artist ripped off pictures from a real ad for another condo for rent in her complex and ripped off her name. They sign it. Wendy Auclair. Curious as to who would use Wendy's name to scam potential renters, she decided to have a friend respond to the ad. Well, he did. He was told to wire money to an address in Nigeria, and then they would send him back a key to Wendy's house. Her friend knew it was a scam, but clearly a lot of people didn't. I think it's crazy and it freaks me out that I have strangers knocking on my door and am, am I going to make the wrong person mad? They think I'm taking their money. Now at first, Wendy could not get Craigslist to take down this fake ad. After days of waiting, they finally did. We contacted Craigslist for an explanation. No one has yet responded to our call. Bottom line, you are on your own when selling or buying anything on this site. There is no financial recourse available. This site does offer tips on how to avoid being ripped off. It is up to you to read them. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.